AWS Identity and Access Management is all about two key things, authentication and authorization. So establishing an identity for who's performing the actions and then granting some specific actions against resources themselves. In order to understand the authorization piece, we need to be familiar with identity and access management policies. Now, policies fall into two major categories and it has to do with where they are attached. So the first type of policy is called an identity policy. And as the name implies, it is attached to some sort of identity, a user, a group, or a role. And these are all ways for us to grant permissions to those particular identities. The other set of permissions are attached to resources directly themselves. So with a resource-based policy, you might attach it to an S3 bucket or to a notification service topic or to a DynamoDB table. The point is that you need to define permissions at the resource level rather than at the user level. It's important to understand too that we can have these two different policies interacting to create a resulting set of permissions um, that might affect an identity. For example, I'm a user with policy A attached. I try to talk to bucket A over here, which has a different resource policy on it. I'm now subject to the permissions in both of the policies that are there. And one final thing to consider about the two different families here is that there are further distinctions inside of these groups um, for how we use the policies, such as a service control policy is a resource policy that's attached to an AWS organization. And it creates some very specific scenarios, all of which we'll be looking at a lot more in future one minute identity and access management lessons. See you next time.